Street Photography Secrets. One minute, one photo, one tip. Hello everyone, here's today's photograph. As you can see it's a famous place in Paris, it's La Bastille. Some of you who know Paris might recognize it. And uh, as you can see I've also saturated it to hell. With, uh, but then again, orange and blue go very nicely together, don't they? They used to be two of my favourite colours when I was a kid. And I had another phase which was green and purple. But anyway, today's tip is... Oh, hang on, let me just show you where this is. So we're at uh, the very famous Bastille, which is down here somewhere, if I can find it. Dum-de-dum, there we are. There it is. And in today's little... Uh, text I asked people what they think this circle is and I'll tell you it's actually the placement of one of the old towers of the Bastille uh, so that's answered that question now what is my photo tip well my photo tip today is place your pawns carefully place your pawns carefully what do I mean by that well my pawns are the things that might not seem that significant in a photograph but which can make or break it and in this case the pawns are the cars they could equally well be pedestrians and normally very often are and uh, imagine what would have happened if I, this car hadn't been here or if it, if it had been going out of the photograph or if it had been further away what has happened is because I wanted to highlight the foreground interest which is this circle here um, I needed to do that and I I decided the car was going to do it for me so there it is it's shining its headlights it's look at the way that this car's headlights has made the, the circle stand out far more than if the car hadn't been there so it's so vital if you haven't got a pawn um, but one might come along then wait it's as simple as that you wait otherwise your photo will be weaker okay that's it for this time uh, see you next time bye bye